Okay, so today's video is going to be all about aerating the lawn. Um, so in the last couple of days in southeast Queensland, we've had a fair amount of rainfall. So here on the northern Gold Coast, we had about 30 to 40 mil. And as I said in the previous episodes, I don't have any irrigation here at all. Um, so what I want to do is basically time in whatever I do with the weather, um, which is not ideal, but it's certainly doable. And that's sort of what I want to document here. So because I've had a decent amount of rainfall, that should, should mean that the aerator should actually penetrate the ground. Um, and so I just want to sort of take advantage of the fact that we've had some decent rain and get the aerator. So let's get going. So the whole point of aerating your lawn is basically to let oxygen, air um, and nutrients get down into the root zone, get down into the soil profile. with how far this got into into it um, considering I doubt it's ever been done before it's had horses and stuff because horses um, even come and walk along the nature strip here it's had excavators cars you name it um, so I'm really impressed with that I'm actually considering if the husband doesn't mind having the kids a little bit longer I'm actually considering going over it again just to really really loosen it up um, and basically now it's ready to start looking at putting fertilizer down, but again, I'm gonna to have to sort of time that um, with the rain because I... Okay, so previously I mentioned that um, I used a soil wetter before I aerated and before the rain actually came. Now I've got a selection of soil wetters here. This is just what I had um, in my shed and what I've used sort of over the years. Um, so basically what you want to do is you, you do want to incorporate a soil wetter into your lawn program. It is very, very important. Um, why is it important is first and foremost because soil and grass itself, they're naturally hydrophobic. So what that means is they naturally repel water, uh, which is the opposite of what we actually want to do, which is actually get water into the soil. So what soil wetters aim to sort of do is break that surface tension and allow the water to actually penetrate and go through to the soil. <laughs> so I've just filmed that whole section uh, and I haven't been in it. So that's awesome. That's probably, probably for the best. Um, but what I want to talk about now is um, soil wetters, obviously. I have a range of them here, um, right over this end. You see it's well loved, well used and a bit old. Got Nature's Soil Wetter from Plant Doctor and I've got Florotene Pervade. Now these ones are more penetrant wetters, so what that means is they 
sort of break the surface tension and allow the water to actually move through the soil profile. Um, so these ones are ideal in situations where you want to do just that. Um, so say if you have soil amendment products that you want to get down into the soil, these are perfect to sort of add in with that. These ones, however, are probably more the ones that most lawn care people would be looking into. And that's because they will sort of hold that moisture in there a little bit longer. So what that does is, theoretically speaking, you should actually use less water. So you don't need to water as often. And I would say the ones that um, most people would be after would fall into this category where you want it to have some, you know, penetrant qualities, but you would also like that water retention. So there's TriSmart by ICL, massive wraps on that one. Hydrolink Advance, I really like that one as well. There's, forgive me if I forget someone, but there's, I think, Hydromax by Lawn Pride. There's Moist by Lawn Porn. I think it's Wet by Lawn Hub. Um, Biagra, I think some people use. <laughs> that used to be one of the main Lawn Pride ones. Sorry, I'm just giggling at all the names, you sickos. But, <laughs> what am I, two? Anyways, so those are the ones that you can sort of look into grabbing. Um, I'm not affiliated with them, but there's a couple of options. I'll try and put them in the description um, so that you can go and have a look and see what works for you. I'm a big believer in trying a range of different products and seeing what works for your lawn, because what works for someone's lawn might not work for you and your climate or your soil even. Anyways, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. See you next time on Lawn Care Australia.